DJI Mavic 3, the latest update. Got that? Coming up next. Bill the Drone Reviewer here. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The other night I hosted Rotor Talk Live and I was joined by co-host Mr. Ron Braun. We spent the better part of the evening discussing the latest update regarding the DJI Mavic 3. So without any further ado, let's roll that clip in its entirety. They want to offer one terabyte of internal storage now too. It's yeah. to me, that one terabyte of internal storage is getting to be a thing these days, Bill. Well, that was a great lead in, Ron, for our, our, our topic of the night. Again, you know, it, it seems like every week, hello, we're having another Mavic 3 update, okay? And this time the information comes to us from our good friend, Hey Kestalu. Right and, over Drone XL. Yeah, on Drone XL. Let's and give let's, go. Nice, let's, give, let's give him a nice plug, Bill. Yes. And Hey, he's a good friend of the channel, and we really like him here, and we've had him on. We're going to try to have him on again. And we need to get him on again. Yes, we do. Here are the latest um, Mavic 3 rumors straight from China. Last week, we saw the renderings that were shared by Drone Modelissimo from Brazil. Um, we saw the non-incredibly professional renderings with a new dual-lens camera set up on the Mavic 3 might look like. Over the weekend, we received information that confirms most of what we already knew using more of the same renderings. Okay, DJI spokesman and director of public relations, Tai Ji, also known as General Ji, has been doing a great job keeping the lid shut on any Mavic 3 rumors. Every time anything leaks, Xi responds quickly and firmly, keeping any details leaking out to a minimum. However, as we get closer to the Mavic 3 launch, Xi's job gets increasingly more difficult. Over the weekend, we received the following information from a reliable source through Chinese social media. Confirms most of what we already know of the Mavic 3, and we're including the renderings to give you an idea what to expect. Note the renderings are not entirely accurate in terms of size, dimensions, and overall design, Sketches provided by Drone Modelismo last week are far more accurate. Let's dive in. Chinese source confirms latest Mavic 3 rumors. These renderings are based on actual photos of the Mavic 3, although the renderings are not accurate in size, dimensions, and overall design. Mavic 3 will have a dual lens setup. You can switch between the lenses on the fly, pun intended. <laughs> the specs are shown on the camera. The top lens is 7x optical zoom lens. The other lens is marked F-2.8 EQV-24. The top left corner of the camera shows an H to indicate it was developed in partnership with Hasselblad. Note, even though it doesn't say so explicitly, we still expect the camera to have a variable aperture ranging from at least F slash 2.8 to F slash 11. The Mavic 3 will come in two versions, and the more expensive one will be equipped with a one terabyte solid state drive and ProRes video recording capabilities. The lower end drone will come without the one terabyte SSD on board. Battery life and or flight time is expected to be 45 minutes. The drone will come with a new remote controller with a built-in screen. The design is expected to be similar to the remote controller from the Air 2S. The hardware will have been upgraded and will offer O3 OcuSync 3.0 for the Mavic 3. The Mavic 3 is expected to be somewhat larger than the outgoing Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom. Mavic 3 is expected to be released in November. However, keep in mind that DJI tends to change plans at the last moment as we've seen time and time again. More than one factory would be involved in the production of the Mavic 3. Our Chinese source tells us this is unofficial news and meant for reference only, okay? We expect to have more accurate information as we approach the official release date of the Mavic 3. Good places to look for confirmation of the FCC filings and, of course, Best Buy, okay? Ron, that's a, that's a boatload of information right Yeah, it kind of, it kind of, we knew a lot of this uh, from the story from the week before, but this kind of built on the information. And Bill, uh, I don't know if you've seen it from, but this is the first time I've actually seen written down that this 7X zoom will be optical. Yeah. yeah. I, this is so, we didn't know that before. In fact, I didn't no. know that. So that's good information, Bill. That is, that is some very good information. And, and you know, and, and I'm going to say this, and you know, I've said it before and I know, You've agreed with me, and I know Marcus has agreed with me on this. You know, when you start to get more information out each week on a weekly basis, okay, that release is coming soon, okay, um, probably within the next couple of months. Which No, I'm going to say this is just gut instinct. You know, I mean, that they said November there. Just gut instinct on my part. No, no, no inside sources, no information outside of what you just read. I, I kind of have a feeling we will see it. You know, by uh, we'll say November or, or before Thanksgiving. Um, 
That's just my gut instinct. What's your drone gut telling you, Bill? Same thing, Ron, because because the you know the inform volume of information that we're getting that's coming out is you know is it's it's like on a weekly basis we're starting to get this information and you know and and also you know and, and I will say this you know Hay really checks his sources out okay he he's very good about that and you know and and, and I know Joan DJ they do they do a good job on that as well and you know for what it's worth the Cedalev has been better with things. So, you know, and, and also I'll say this, okay, these leaks don't happen in a vacuum. Okay. I know we read about, um, the, the, the general keeping the, the keep general the, G from, from, from DJI trying to keep a lid on things. Okay. You know what? I think he opens up that lid just a little bit each week to let some of that stuff come out. It, okay? It's the old, it's the old Apple theory. Steve Jobs himself used to always leave links out himself right before a big product launch to get things hyped up. So the general, the general, the general probably took from the commander in chief, let a little info out general. We need to, we need to start building up the, uh, let people know they've got to put a little money away. Absolutely. And you know, the other, the one interesting thing I saw, it said that more than one plant will be, producing this. And I think that's an important point because if you go back to the original Mavic Pro and all the, the nightmare that DJI had with that, um, they did not anticipate the sales volume from that. And it took them four months to get caught up. I mean, people who, who ordered in October. how much money was lost in that? Yeah. Time. I mean, that was, I mean, you know, from, from October and then you get your drone in January. I mean, that's um, Wait a minute. Are we talking DJI or is this Hubson? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Hubson's taking a page from old DJI. I guess I don't know, but yeah. you know, I think this is important. Them putting putting more than one plant online regarding this because they're anticipating a high volume, and they're no, probably any, any, ch any chance one of those plants could be in the U.S. I don't know. I don't. Would you, I don't. Wouldn't you love to get your hands on it? U.S. made. U.S. made. Uh, DJI Mavic 3. Wow. Okay. Now, also, if I read this correctly, it sounds and and this and this is this is just me from 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 digesting all this information. It sounds like the only difference between the two models is that one terabyte of onboard SSD storage. Well, um, I mean, uh, just from you know, just from t a technical standpoint or whatever, um, they probably won't be able to Apple that offer the Apple Pro Res in the lower version doesn't have that one terabyte drive because the mm -hmm. Pro Res, um, it'll need a faster, you know, um, processor, uh, bus, whatever. Bus, you know, yeah. it, it won't be able to do all that off a memory card. It'll yeah. need a fast uh, SSD drive like mm -hmm. they're putting in there that, you know, so it's going to need that drive to, to do that on. I, I just, just, just me saying that I, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this. I think a price, the price difference between, between the two models, it's going to be at a minimum five hundred dollars more. That, that's just that's just off the top of my head. Just you know, for storage, um, that solid state digital storage, I'm, I, I would definitely say I'm gonna I'm gonna say at least five hundred dollars, if not. That's a, more. that's a good ballpark park price, Bill. Now, do we know whether or not the 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 one with the one terabyte will that still offer an SD slot also or will will you only have the one option of the built-in external? Uh, That's uh, a good question, and uh, you know, um, I would say yes because they've done that before. I mean, you know, with the, with the Mavic Two Pro, and they've done that with the Air Two. Um, you know, it, it has it has both the onboard. I mean, even though those those are eight gig, it's not much, but they do have both, so the the possibility for that is 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 very is likely. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, you know, if that yeah, unless they're trying to pull like an Apple or a Samsung, where they're trying to slowly phase the memory card out, and this is this is you know step number one. It could be because you know our friends at Hubson did that with the Xeno Mini Pro. And you know this may be go there may be going that way right now. Well, I don't know. Caught the same thing, probably to offer that 200 bit rate that they that they offer. Whether it actually works, we don't know. But that's that they needed they needed that fast drive. They maybe they couldn't operate 200 bits off of an external SD card. Yeah, and one of the other things that that I, I'm 
and, and we had talked about this was uh, you know they don't call it a smart controller but it's going to have a display screen on it. Yeah, okay. that's the first time we've seen that bill that that our little I don't have it handy here. Our little uh you know uh mini 2 uh, uh Air 2S or Air 2 controller will have this one will have and it is it is real moment to put that little LCD screen in it and and have your stats in there and I think that's a nice little uh upgrade myself bill. I do too. I think that's fantastic. And and like I said, and, and we talked about this last week. I said it's not going to come with a regular controller, regular analog controller. I, I, I said that last week, and, and you know, this kind of bears that out because I, I, you know, Frank Wang wants to stay ahead. Okay. He doesn't want to go behind. He wants to stay ahead. And he's going to set the bar incredibly high here with the Mavic 3. And one of the ways he's going to do that is by, you know, if you want to call it a smart, I don't necessarily want to call it a smart controller. But actually, it would be really technically DJI's first drone with a controller with a built-in screen. Okay, let's let I mean, for lack of a better term, right? You, so you think it'll be an actual FPV screen, not just? Oh yeah. So I so don't... so in other words, it's going to be similar to the Evo the Evo Two uh, remote control, where you get you get a screen. It's not the world's best screen by any means, but I have forgotten my phone before. And I could fly with that little screen. I mean, it it, it wasn't an opt, uh, you know, a real pleasant experience, but it can be done. It can be done. Yeah. Now, see, you know, and, and there's going to be, you know, that kind of opens up the door for what what is this going to be? You know, is it going to have 1,200 nits? Is it going to be something you'll be able to look outside on a bright day and not have any issues with it, or is it going to be, you know, one of those, you know, low resolution, hard to just, hard to see displays who knows okay um i'm i'm favoring i'm thinking if you know what may be a possibility here and this is just me speculating okay because the difference between the two models you know the with the one with the one terabyte with the ssd storage it may have more of a what we would consider a smart controller with it with something with with a better screen and a better display I don't know. Yeah, just, it all depends on how affordable they want to keep the base model. And yeah. um, L- Lauren in the chat saying lots of surprises coming starting uh, mid October. This is uh, Ron. Who said the screen was used uh, uh, for the camera? Uh, Lauren, our friend Bill uh, leaked that out here. <laughs> uh, and folks, remember we are. Uh, what are we? What are we? We're pontificating here. Uh, so um, you know just. In air quotes, we're we're pontificating some of the uh, stats here that we've gone above and beyond uh, what we learned from the um, article by our friend. Uh, hey, hey, Kessler, or I think uh, Lauren calls him. Hi, hi, Ke- hi, Kessler. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and it's real interesting. And you know, th- this is gonna this is gonna pan out. Um, you know, it kind of kind of really quells the talk about like a mini three coming out right now. I mean, almost everybody. You know, this is you know talking. That's, that's about, a big conversation. Can the Mini Three and Mavic Three come out in the same quarter, Bill? It could. It really could. I mean, they could come out with that around Christmas, Ron, and people will buy that. I mean, well, it, big, it, bo- big box retailers want these products released b- before Thanksgiving. I mean, that's not saying DJI has to listen to them. Big box retailers don't like something coming out between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. So it will be before Thanksgiving. You can, you can, you know, we'll probably see this. Okay. You know, I'm saying that if they're going to do the Mavic three, I think it's going to happen in October. Okay. Um, If we go back to the original Mavic pro, it was released in October, 2016. So, you know, that's just, that's just, you know, some speculation on my part and then come, Maybe that, you know, because the ma- the first mini came out, I think it was around Veterans Day um, a couple of years ago was when that came out. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've both been almost like that, you know, uh, you know, like they've, they've been announced almost like around November 1st and they shipped like a week after that or something. Yeah, so yeah. I wouldn't, I'd run, it would not surprise me to see DJI do that. And and, and, know, all, that's, and all that's timing is for the, as you pointed out earlier, that time is all for the holiday uh, yeah. Shopping season. Yeah. And and it would be, I mean, it, it would be such a smart move, marketing move on DJI's part to do that and to gear that up. You know, this is, you know, they're anticipating a high demand for the Mavic 3. 
by having this, you know, being built in more than one plant, um, you know, there's going to be product when they release that, okay, it's going to be available immediately. Question of the day, what do you think of the latest update regarding the DJI Mavic 3? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly.